Anio Space started as a collaboration with NASA and the Danish Meteorological Institute and also the Norwegian Defence and Research Establishment back in 1962. It was late 50s, early 60s that they wanted to uh, look at the interference from the uh, Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, on military communications. So they decided we need a place uh, to put uh, instruments into the Aurora to study it from within. And they figure out where do we do that best? We do it at Anaya. Anaya Space has developed from a sounding rocket launching site into a place where you can also do military testing. We do education to make sure that we have uh, youngsters coming up behind us and, and, uh, and looking forward to what are we doing in space and how is space developing and how do we take care of that. And also now the newest thing we're doing is of course that we have built the spaceport. Another spaceport was designed initially to offer uh, state-of-the-art uh, technology. The launch site offers uh, telemetry, it offers uh, flight termination and radar. So it's uh, built for the future, so to say. Online Spaceport aspires to be Europe's main spaceport. We want to be basically an airport for space. Uh, we want to expand up to four pads, use the full license of our capabilities, up to 30 launches per year, and make space access easy and convenient. For Anio Space, the future opens up a possibility also to establish a drone center of excellence to combine drones, observation drones, together with satellites, which will give us an unmatched uh, possibility for keeping an eye on what's going on in the high north. It's probably going to be dual use, so we're talking about military and civilian side of the house. But we have in the future, dual use is going to be more important so that we also can see that we can use it for both applications. Space and defense uh, belongs together and the same goes for, for using also civilian and military applications on this side. Besides drones, uh, we're also looking at expanding the spaceport. Uh, we need another pad to be made ready. Uh, and the launch pad B is something that we are looking at right now. Uh, and also in, in parallel with that, we also want to build something called the Spaceport Village which is where we're going to have the assembly, integration and test buildings. So that makes the customers um, the possibility for them to put the rockets together and also with a payload on top. And when you see that, that is also, uh, it's just enough with one pad. We want to expand that. And as we have had the first experience with the first launch, now in March, from MISAR Aerospace side, with Snowa Natural to, to build the next pad. We see a development on the technological side from being just a place for sounding rockets and scientific experiments to also see a more integrated uh, technological network where we bring all these different elements together. So we see Almea Space as a hub for the future, a technology hub for upstream services uh, that could be useful for space, for Norway, for Europe also in the future.